I love a good takeaway curry, but we're gonna make one at home. It takes no effort, it's delicious, creamy, spicy, amazing. Hi everybody and welcome to my kitchen. It's me Manny from Manny's Made at Home. Today I wanna bring you one of my Throngo recipes. I love a curry and this is the easiest and most delicious one you're ever gonna make. It may not be the most traditional, but you're absolutely gonna love it. We're gonna be making crock pot curry. Let's look at the ingredients that we're going to need. First, I put my slow cooker on a high heat to preheat with the lid on, just while I got all my ingredient sources. So, about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go in with some oil, and then I'm gonna go in with my minced ginger. I've got some crushed garlic, and finally some onions. That's all of our aromatics. Okay, and now for the spices, I've got some curry powder, garam masala, Cumin. We got some sugar. You wanna make sure you get that balance of sweetness, spice, and sour. We got some turmeric powder, ground coriander, salt and pepper, some cinnamon, and chili flakes. I can smell that the spices are getting toasted already with the preheated crock pot. It smells so good. I'm gonna add in some tomato paste as well. And I'm gonna give it all a good stir. Next, I'm gonna go in with my chicken, which I've diced up into small pieces. Going straight in. And here, you wanna get your chicken coated with all of the spices as well. Next, I'm gonna add in my coconut milk. I'm gonna go in with the stock cube. And finally, some butter. The lid goes on, and we're gonna cook it for four hours on high or eight hours on low. So, then I'm gonna do high and I'll give it a mix about halfway through. Like all of my throw and go recipes, I'm not really adding any liquid here at this stage. The cover forms a nice seal, so there won't be a lot of evaporation, and we'll see how the liquid levels go further down the line, and if then we see that we need to add a little bit more, we may do it then. But for now, this is good. It's been just over an hour, let's have a look at our curry. I wanna go in and give everything a good mix now. You really wanna make sure that you give it a good mix. That's looking much more curry-like now than it was before. And it's smelling fantastic already at this stage. But we have to keep cooking it for a bit longer before it's ready. Alrighty, it's just gone over three hours, so let's have a look at our curry. It's looking great and it smells so delicious. I'm gonna go in now and add in some peas and I'm gonna give them a stir. And for the final thing, I'm gonna add in some egg noodles. It may seem like an unusual choice, but trust me, it's going to be delicious. Lid back on, and we'll cook it for the remaining hour. By that time, the noodles should be fully cooked. All right, we're all done. Let's have a look at our curry. It looks amazing. I'm just gonna give it a final mix. The noodles have soaked up all of the curry. So this is more like a dry curry, uh, but this is absolutely perfect. And it smells so delicious. I can't wait to put it in my mouth. It's gonna transfer into a serving bowl. That looks fantastic. I'm just gonna go in with some fresh coriander over the top. And that is it, our beautiful crock pot curry. Whereas I don't doubt that I could eat all this myself, I'm gonna pour myself a decent portion. Gonna garnish with a bit of extra coriander. You can never have enough. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of yogurt. It's my favorite time, let me give it a try. I wanna get some noodles and of course some chicken. This is a beautiful curry. It's on the drier side, so if you wanted it to be a little bit more saucy, you could add some water towards the end of the cooking time. But it's totally beautiful, I love how fresh the coriander makes it. The yogurt helps because it's quite spicy and the noodles are a fantastic addition. They soak up all that delicious flavor and it's just mind-blowingly good. Perfect for a weeknight meal when you have no time, you don't want to put in any effort and you're craving a takeaway. Such a simple dish but so delicious. If you like the recipe make sure you leave me a big like, a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like Indian food, check out my Indian playlist. I will leave it linked over here. 
If you try this dish or any of my other recipes and want to post them on Instagram, don't forget to tag me. I love to see how you get on. With that, I'll leave you for this video and enjoy.